Every filter's got a part number on it. It has different flow specs. You go ahead and put it in the machine so it blows on top of the filter and you got a nozzle on the bottom that's blowing. See it blown out the, the ash. The ash is white. Okay, this is pulling a vacuum through here and checking the flow. Every filter's got a part number on it. You gotta look it up and it has different flow specs. None of them are the same. Okay, you get the flow specs. I had 5.4, I write that down. And then I wrote the part number down and then I look on the charts to see what it's supposed to be. Your next step would be go ahead and put it in the machine. You put the appropriate plate on there and you got air nozzles in here that blow up and down and they blow air on each side of the filter. The exhaust comes in the filter and you got membranes or cell walls and it actually filters through there. It doesn't go all, the soot doesn't go through there. That's why it collects and then it turns it to ash and then you gotta blow it out. Okay, you center the filter on the plate and then you can adjust the arms where it'll go inside of it. We're adjusting it where it'll blow inside the filter. Okay, that's where I want it, so it blows on top of the filter and you got a nozzle on the bottom that's blowing the other way. Okay, then you turn the air on to it. This sucks up what that's blowing out, so it doesn't blow out that way. And this has got a big filter in it, and what it does, it pulses then you got a bucket down here to collect the soot. And then the soot you just throw away in the trash can. You see it blown out the, the ash. The ash is white. It's going to have a little bit of soot in there. What is blown out is ash, which was burned from the soot. Ash is more compact than soot, so... And the filter was full, and they're doing maintenance on it, so they want it all blowed out so your exhaust system is clean again. And it doesn't slow the truck down and it keeps on trucking. The soot and the ash that's being blown out from the filter is being sucked up in this what's called soot sucker. The soot sucker takes it and filters it out and you got a clean air filter there and it blows out the atmosphere and all the particles are going into this bucket. This machine will pulse and it'll shake that filter and knock that soot and stuff in there and you just empty out that bucket into a regular trash can that's all there is to it. And then after you do this, you take the filter out when it quits blowing out particles. Then it's as clean as it's going to get. You take it back out of here, you put it on there, you check the flow. And you got levels on that chart that tells you, okay, this is clean enough to reuse. This is clean, but you need to bake it. And if you need to bake it, you put it over here and it's kiln, it's just like a pottery kiln. What it does, you stick it in there, it warms up temperature to over 1100 degrees, and once it gets to 1100 degrees, it'll cook it for six hours, and what that does is get the rest of the particles that are in the DPF, and shrinks them down and makes it ash, it breaks everything up, and then you gotta let it cool down. It takes about 14 hours, 14 to 16 hours for it to do the process in this. Once it cools down, you take it back out, you put it back in the machine, and you blow out the rest of the stuff, and then hopefully it should be good to reuse. Sometimes there's some that will not clean, and then you have to replace them. But this is the process of doing the filters. So see, before it was 5.4, now it's down to 4. That's after blowing it out for just a little bit over 30 minutes. So I'll go in and check the specs on it and see if make sure it's in specs. This chart's kind of hard to see, but you got a green tag range and an orange tag range. If it's in the orange tag range, you want to probably bake it and you want to get as clean as you can. But if that spec is in the green tag range, that means it's ready to go. You're not going to clean it any better. But if there's a possibility, like I said, if it's in the orange range, you'll call the customer and say, hey, we can clean this thing a little bit better, we'll bake it and it should blow out the remaining soot in there because that stuff gets in there and packs. You know, you're going to have that oddball truck that 
there's going to be something that goes down. You got an injector goes down, it blows more soot into the filter, and it's going to collect quicker. There ain't nothing you can do about that, but get everything serviced at the time you're doing the repair. And then, you know, just like anything else, keep your records up and know when you service the filter. But sometimes if you let it go too long, they get real packed in there and you got to put it in the kiln to break it up and it'll break up the soot and then you put it back in, clean it, and then it should be in specs and then that ought to increase your life of the filter.